Kevin Alvarez, time served. The 20-year-old star witness revealed that even though he has pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the first degree, which can carry a prison penalty of up to 25 years in jail, he will likely do time served if he testifies truthfully in this trial and future cases. This screaming Bronx woman called Kevin Alvarez an assassin when he was walked out of the 48th precinct last June. Then 19, he was the first of Junior's 15 accused killers introduced to the public, captured on surveillance, bolting into the bodega, demanding the release of the terrified Junior from behind the store counter before punching the younger teen's face, kicking him, and dragging him out to the sidewalk where five men allegedly stabbed Junior with knives and a machete. Alvarez said he was scared and ran away and hoped they hadn't killed the teen, whom the gang mistakenly thought was a rival. On Tuesday, on the witness stand, Alvarez revealed the plea agreement that he's made with the Bronx District Attorney when he was questioned by lead prosecutor Morgan Dolan. Prosecutor, have you been offered two potential sentences? Alvarez, yes, ma'am. Now 20 years old, Alvarez testified he could get up to 25 years in prison on a manslaughter one conviction if he didn't testify truthfully at this and future trials. Then came the headline, prosecutor, and if you satisfy the agreement, Alvarez, I get sentenced to time served on conspiracy in the fourth degree. The revelation drew audible gasps in the courtroom with Junior's mother among the spectators. She had always said that she thought the accused killer should face life arguing they joined together to hunt down her son and then kill him. Okay, here's how the deal works. Alvarez pleaded guilty to manslaughter one and conspiracy in the fourth degree. If he carries out this agreement well, he will likely be sentenced to time served. The manslaughter plea will probably be withdrawn. We tried to get reaction from Junior's mother. She was let out of court to a private room, and then she was taken out of court this evening in a, an unmarked police car because of some kind of outburst that happened in the courtroom late this afternoon. We'll have more on that at 6 p.m. Live from Bronx Supreme Court, I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News. Back to you in the studio.